Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to make music like the Fat Rat. So I don't know if you're familiar with this artist but he makes pretty cool music and usually he makes it free to use in videos and stuff like that so he seems like a pretty cool guy and I thought it would be cool to try to replicate his style because it's kind of unique and obviously he has a wide range of different songs but I'm going to try to replicate his new song called Mayday. Also this video is sponsored by Team MBL or Music by Lucas. We actually collabed before and today they wanted me to show you their new preset pack for Serum called Freedom. So yeah, it has a tons of different sounds and there's a good variety for different styles. So it's a really good uh, preset pack. And to show it off, I'm going to be using mostly these presets to create this song. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So I already set the tempo to 150 and this uh, Mayday track is kind of like a future bass, but not really. It's hard to explain, but it has a lot of these uh, spacey leads. In space. And it's a pretty cool track and I think it's uh, pretty unique and that's why I want to make a video about it. Anyway, so let's get started with a drum beat. So this is going to be pretty simple, basic drum rhythm. So let's just make it like this. I'm using this drum, which is like a huge stadium kick. Then I'm using this kick, which is a classic snappy kick. And then I'm using this one as well, which is more on the low end. So it might be kind of weird to see using three kicks at once, but Together they sound pretty good, so I'm not really worried about it. There is not any distortion or overlapping of frequencies. So let's add another kick here, but without the stadium kick. So there is some sort of difference between those two. And let's add these claps right here. So for the claps I'm using this one, then this one, and this one. So this one is kind of the main one, the longer one, and these are more of the short claps that just give it that punch. And yeah, now let's add another kick right here, which is a filler kick. It sounds like this. And let's add another one here. This one goes here. So yeah, like this. This simple rhythm and differentiating between the kicks just to like give it a, a more natural feel. And yeah, so it doesn't sound so generic. Yeah, pretty basic drum beat. Let's add that in the playlist. And also let's create a hi-hat, so create a new pattern. A simple hi-hat loop, but let's actually make it more interesting and add a few more notes in the middle right here. Just like so, select these and, and drag these arrows to create this uh, triplet effect. We could add even more notes there, so, so let's do it like this. Yeah, just like this. Nice little triplets or whatever you want to call it. Just a lot of hi-hat notes, one after another. That's the official term. Anyways, so that's our hi-hats. Let's add them in the playlist as well. And now let's play it. So yeah, we got our drum beat ready to go. And as far as the effects on the hi-hats go, I put stereo shaper on it to make them like wider in the mix. And I also put a bunch of reverb on it and change the dryness to lower value. And that will kind of make them in the background. And yeah, that's our drum beat. Now let's uh, create the chords. So yeah, for the chords, I'm using this sound from the Team MBL preset pack called Bounce. It's a kind of a vocal sound but it works pretty well for the chords as well. So yeah, let's go to piano roll and let's start creating these chords. Anyways, let's do a simple rhythm. So I'm kind of trying to replicate the chords he had in the Mayday song. I'm pretty sure these were the root notes for the chords or the bass notes. So when creating chords, it's kind of good to start with the bass notes. That will give you a good idea of what you will be working with. And now let's uh, create the actual chords. So when creating a chord, what you want to do is uh, start with the first note, which is the bass note, and then skip three notes and put a note on the fourth note. And then skip two notes and put a note on the fifth and that will create a basic chord. Or you can also use the stem tool in piano roll and go to minor chords and just create it like this. And this is a minor chord. If you want to make it major, just change the middle note one up. So yeah, that's pretty much how you create chords. So this is the first one. Now the second one. Same thing, except now this is a minor chord. This is a major chord, this is a minor chord. And as you can hear, this one doesn't sound as exciting. 
So we can add one more note right here. And I'm not sure about the exact uh, music theory reason to add this note. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can just experiment with adding different notes to the chord and seeing if it helps or not. For example, even we could even add this one. But this one sounds really cool and it creates this mysterious mood or something like that. It just sounds right in that chord. Anyways, let's move on to the next chord. And here is the next chord. And as you can hear, right here, it's too low. This chord is just kind of too low compared to the other chords. And what you want to do in this case is just put the middle note one octave up. As you can hear, that makes a big difference. And it's still the same chord, it's just the notes are in different order. And here we have another chord, but we can also put this note one octave lower, because now it's, it was too high. And we can add another note right here. Again, just to make it a bit more interesting, and this way the chord has more harmonics than just three notes. And yeah, that's the chord progression from the song Mayday. And I think it's a really cool one. It's pretty simple, but these extra notes make a big difference. Anyway, so that's it. Let's add that to the playlist as well. As far as the effects on this sound, I put some reverb on it, just to make it more spacey in the mix. The more reverb you put on sounds, the more in the background they will be. And I also put sign chaining on this sound, so every time the kick hits, the volume of this sound is lowered. If you don't know how to do sign chaining, check out my other tutorials, link will be in the description. And together, it sounds like this. So yeah, pretty simple start. Now let's move on to the bass. So for the bass, let's just copy the notes from the chords, the bass notes. And remember, this one is actually E, not the B, because we just put the, the B one octave lower. So don't get the notes mixed up. So yeah, just copy the first note of each chord. So let's create a bass. And let's just paste it in here and click on tools and quick legato, which will extend the notes, but you have to do the last, last one. And now we have the bass notes. And of course it's too high, so let's put it octave lower. Click uh, control arrow down to put it octave lower. So yeah, this is our bass, really simple. Now, that's pretty much it. For the sound, I'm using uh, the Freedom preset again, Bass Essential. The name speaks for itself. It's a really basic essential bass that you can pretty much use in any song. And yeah, for the effects on the bass, I only have a sign chaining on it. So every time the kick hits, again, the volume of the bass is lowered. Now to make the bass more interesting, we wanna add kind of a greedy bass to it as well, which is this one, it's this lead called Spinach from the preset pack again. And I guess you can use this as a lead for chords and stuff, but I used it as a greedy bass kind of thing. So let's just copy the notes to this lead as well. And put it octave lower. It might not sound good by itself, but in the mix it actually improves the sound a little bit, makes it sound more full. And yeah, let's put that in the playlist as well, and let's hear it now. So yeah, sounds pretty decent right now. And the main thing we wanna add is the melody. So yeah, now we wanna add the melody, which is kind of the main thing in this song. And in the song Mayday, he used these crazy high-pitched leads that created this uh, like space mood in the song, which was really nice. So I'm using this lead from the pack called Clean. It's a really basic lead. And for this lead, I made sure to enable the portamento, so every time two notes play one after another, they collide, then there's this pitch transition between the notes. You can hear that right now. That's a really important thing, because without it, it wouldn't sound as interesting. So make, make sure to have portamento enabled. And I also use another lead from Silent One, which sounds like this. And I will layer these two together to create this nice sound. So let's create the melody first and then we're gonna layer them. And when creating the melody, this is kind of where you should get creative. Until this point, you can pretty much have the same kind of thing going in the song. But the melody is where you should be original. But of course, since I am making a video about how to make music like the Fad Rat, I'm going to try to replicate the melody from his song, but I'm gonna make it a little bit different. So for this lead, I'm using pretty high notes. 
And what I recommend when creating a melody is just to play the melody with the song as you are making it. That way you can kind of imagine in your head how the melody should sound and then just kind of make it as you go. So yeah, as you can hear, the pitch transition adds a really nice touch to the melody. So this is pretty much the note the melody should start on. But if we add this note just right before the beginning of the pattern, we can have this nice pitch transition on the beginning. And yeah, this is pretty much the melody. The second thing we want to do is uh, copy this melody. Just select the whole thing, hold control, select and click uh, control B to duplicate it. We want to have some variation in the second part of the melody just to make it interesting to the listener, just so the melody doesn't repeat itself all the time. You can literally just change one note to make a big difference. So let's see what we can do. So yeah, as you can hear, I just changed this note and that kind of lets the listener know that this is the second time the melody is repeating. It's a really small change, but it kind of works. And now that we have the melody ready, let's just uh, copy it to the serum preset as well. And we have these two layers playing together. As far as the effects go on the melody, there is actually a lot of reverb, reverb with a lot of decay and I also lower the dryness so the melody again is kind of in the background and that will create this spacey vibe, I guess. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. And I also lowered the high frequencies because it was a really high pitched sound and that can kind of hurt your ears almost. So that's why I lowered the high frequencies a little bit so it isn't as overpowering in the high end. And then it's rooted to track number six where we have even more reverb. So yeah, there, there is a lot of reverb on this sound for sure. And I also put a stereo shaper on it again to make it wider in the mix. And I just deleted the low frequencies since we don't really need them for the lead. And again, this sound is sidechained, so every time the kick hits, the volume of this sound is lowered. And that's pretty much the drop right there. So yeah, this is how it sounds together. And yeah, to extend this tutorial further than just the drop, let's actually continue adding some more things after the drop. So let's just copy the drop right here, delete the melody, and let's add another melody, plug melody. So I have this sound from the pack again, of course, called plug dreams. And we can just create another melody with the plug after the drop. And this wasn't in the original Mayday song. I just thought I would make something different in there because obviously he had vocals there, but we can just add some more melodies with different sounds to make it more interesting. <laughs> And again, when creating these melodies, I'm just listening to the song and I imagine the melody in my head first as I listen to the track and then I just try to recreate it in piano roll. And the last thing that I really liked in the original is the arpeggio. So that's kind of what I want to recreate here. I'm using this sound called Phased Out. Which is kind of a bass sound, but since I put some effects on it, like reverb, and I deleted all the low frequencies, that means it's not a bass sound anymore. So, so when creating the arpeggio, you pretty much want to follow the chords. So if you remember, we have D, B, F as the chords, and that's kind of what you want to start with on the arpeggio. So let's just take the chords, copy them right here in the arpeggio. And you want to follow the notes of the chords one after another to create this arpeggio. So as you can see here, these are the first notes that we use in the chord, but we can continue on with the next one on the next octave. So it started with D5, now we are at D6. So yeah, this is how you do arpeggios. You just follow the notes of the chord, which is D, F sharp and A, and then again, go D, F sharp, and then back down to D, a, F sharp. It depends how you want to do the arpeggio, it can go in any direction, but that's pretty much using the notes from the chords to make it. So 
And yeah, I guess this last one doesn't really follow the rule of the chords, but the chord changes right here and this kind of makes sense. So let's actually add that in the playlist as well and let's see how it sounds. And yeah, this is pretty much it, I guess. And just to make it more interesting, let's add some effects, like a crash at the beginning. Then maybe reverse crash right here. And I have this little riser. And just the classic things to make the drop a little bit more interesting. And let's actually make a small build up just so we have a better idea how hard the drop hits. So yeah, let's just put the chords in here and the arpeggio and make a simple build up. And I'm gonna put this fill in here as well, just like so. And let's put this crash in here and this riser as well. And let's see what we actually created. So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. So we started with some basic drum rhythm. Just make sure you pick good samples and you should be good. Then we have this simple chord progression. Then a simple bass. And then we have the main melody with a lot of reverb and then just some crashes and effects. And in the second part of the drop, we have this plug melody and an arpeggio. Everybody loves arpeggios. That's just facts. Anyways, and together, it all sounds like this. And hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out the original track by The Fat Rat. Link will be in the description. And make sure to check out the preset pack that I used by Team MBL called The Freedom. Uh, it's a really cool pack, a lot of cool sounds for sure. Some of them I didn't explore in this video, but there are actually a lot of good sounds for other styles of music as well, like Bass House and Future House. So yeah, a really cool sample pack, make sure to support them. And if you use the code ARCADE, you'll get uh, 10% off. So make sure to use that code. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.